Welcome to today's episode of The K9 Show and on today's show we are discussing everything that you need to know about the Rottweiler. If you're new around here, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and if you are thinking about bringing a Rottweiler into your home, I've created a list of the top 10 things that I think that you need to buy before getting a Rottweiler and all those are linked in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The history of the Rottweiler remains a little disputed, however many people agree the breed came about when the Romans bought dogs with them during their invasion of Europe, which they crossed with native breeds. Rotties were often found in southern Germany and Switzerland and the breed was given their name because so many of them were in the town of Rottweil in Germany's southern region of the Black Forest. Their main job back then was to herd and guard livestock. Rotties are large dogs, they are very powerful and extremely well muscled. Males can grow up to 61 to 69 centimetres, with females 56 to 63 centimetres. And males can weigh 50 to 60 kilos, with females weighing 35 to 48 kilos. The Rottie has a medium length black and tan coarse top coat which lies flat to the dog's body. Their undercoat is shorter and grey, black or fawn in colour, but it does not show through their top coat. The average life expectancy of a Rottweiler is between 8 and 10 years when properly cared for and fed well. Rottweilers are known to suffer from a few health issues with the conditions being most common are the following. Cancer, eye problems, cruciate ligament rupture, wet eczema, cold water tail, hip and elbow dysplasia, bloat and they can be prone to obesity. Rotties are an active dog that needs lots of exercise and mental stimulation. They are not the best breed for first time owners because they need the right sort of experience in handling and training as they're such an intelligent, impressive and powerful dog that can and unfortunately have in the past been disastrous if not raised well. As with all dogs it's essential for a Rottweiler's training to start early and puppies must be well socialised from a young age for them to grow up to be confident relaxed adult dogs. Rotties are known to be confident and highly intelligent so in the right hands they are obedient and extremely devoted dogs that excel at all sorts of canine sporting activities. Rotties do make good family pets however their sheer size means you do need to take care when they are around younger children. They are a very good choice for people who work from home or for families where one person usually stays at home because they do not like being left on their own. A fully mature Rottweiler is an extremely strong dog and one that can be very demanding at times. The instinct to guard is a trait that is deeply embedded which must be well understood when sharing a home with a Rottie. The Rottweiler is one of the most intelligent dogs on the planet and therefore they learn new things extremely quickly. They need to be handled with a firm yet positive approach that is always consistent right from the word go throughout their lives which is one of the reasons they are better suited to people who are familiar with their needs. So in conclusion the positive so that Rottweilers are highly intelligent and confident dogs, they are extremely loyal and devoted, easy maintenance on the grooming front, they are low to moderate shedders, they are natural watchdogs being protective by nature, they are very loyal and protective of their owners, their families and the properties. Some negatives can include that Rottweilers are not a brilliant choice for first time dog owners. Early socialisation and training is an absolute must. They can be very demanding on quite a few fronts. They are large dogs and therefore need enough space to express themselves. Rottweiler puppies are extremely boisterous and exuberant. Early socialisation and training must be consistent throughout the entirety of a Rottie's life. They can sometimes show aggression towards other animals. Rotties do dribble a lot, especially after they have eaten or had a drink of water, and they are known to suffer from quite a few health issues, so the vet bills can be on the higher side. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click that thumbs up button, and if you are new around here, don't forget to click subscribe. My question for the day is, what do you think is the single most important thing that you need to teach your dog? Please put your answers in the comment section below. I look forward to chatting to you all about that down there. And again, if you are considering getting a Rottweiler in your family, I've got a list of the top 10 things I think you need to buy before doing so. All those links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for another episode of The Canine Show.